So just before we get into this video, you can watch the full uncut reaction over on my Patreon. I'm also on Better Call Saul Season 4 Episode 9 over there. I also do two a week over there uh, consistently, so it explains why I'm so far ahead. So as I said, if you are interested in that, the link to my Patreon will be down below in the description. But as for now, I hope you enjoy the video. Hey, so welcome back to more reactions to Better Call Saul. We're on Season 1 Episode 5 today. So last episode was basically Saul trying to actually make a name for himself, trying to set up his own business, but also whilst pissing off that other dude, the one who used to work with his with his brother, whose name is in my head and I've just forgot it, trying to piss him off, literally ripping his advertisement, copying the exact same thing, um, but just changing the name. Like he's, he's just trying to fucking wind him up, basically, and he, and he did it. But what's the, the cherry on top here is that he's planned planned one of the workers to throw himself off of the the billboard so he can be the hero to go and save him and then he had the camera crew there to directly interview him afterwards so we can spew all this bullshit about he's a um a caring citizen and stuff like this and then it, it, the people start backing him so he's back to his scheming ways and they show that they show how good he is at what he does at the beginning of the episode with the the flashback where they also drop such a, I, I don't know, a kind of a big reveal, I'd say. The reason like behind his name, Saul Goodman, it's, it's just because it sounds like it's all good, man. Like, there's got to be more to that, surely. There's no way he's saying that small and stupid is the the reason behind his name. Um, That is just, that is amazing. It's so obvious when you say it. When you say Saul Goodman, it is literally, it's there right in front of you, and I've never noticed it. So I'm assuming that's the... The origins behind his name, they just threw that out there last episode. Still slow burning at the minute, but it's, it's to be expected. I don't expect this to go 100 miles per hour in the first season. Like, we are literally only on episode 5 and I'm still really enjoying this show. Um, obviously, the show is going to be a lot more enjoyable and, and a lot more entertaining to watch when characters like Mike, Gus and all that come into it. Like, it, it's just going to be, isn't it? Because that's the Breaking Bad we know, that's the Breaking Bad we love, we fell in love with. But it's also interesting seeing the build-up to, the, like, to, the, to these events. Um... And the build up to these relationships that we see in Breaking Bad. This is Better Call Saul, Season 1, Episode 5. Let's jump right into it. You cut. Did you. Did you really bail the police on him? Is it that deep? He stole a news. He. He didn't even steal it. He paid for it. Do you want the newspaper that bad? What the fuck, man? I'd like to talk with you for a minute. Could you open the door, please? Look, we know you're in there and you're casting a shadow through your peephole. I'd, uh, I'd prefer not to, officers. This is so over the top. Hey, Tommy, come around here, would you? They're gonna think he's up to something. You got ten seconds to open this door or it's coming down, you hear me? Definitely no tasers, I can't emphasize that enough. Deal? Why oh, you lot? I'll give the paper back. Uh, uh. Oh, for a newspaper. For for a newspaper. Uh, James McGill to see Mr. Richard Sipes. Uh, this is my assistant's car. <laughs> uh, my Mercedes is in the shop. Always well, got a story to tell, ain't you? So we are going to be America's Vatican City. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's show them off. What's your rate? I want you on retainer. How about one million even? Five hundred up front. Would you like that in cash? Does he even know what to say to that? Tax free and backed by the full faith and credit of the sovereign Sandia Republic. Who's he going to see now? Mr. McGill, hi. Thanks so much for coming. Hey, Roland. Are these all the missed calls he got last episode? Jimmy, absolutely. It's my idea of a lifetime. If Fisher Price or Play School ever got their hands on this. No worries. You ready? It's a toilet. I what? may have seen one of these before. <laughs> Not like this. this <laughs> what does it do? This little unit I've added. Do you have children? No. My wife and I have two boys, four and six. But it's all about positive reinforcement. Meet what? Tony the Toilet Buddy. And when you sit down to do your business, this is how he works. Oh, yeah. That's the way. Oh, I can't be bothered. I can't. Gosh, you're big. Fill me up, Chandler. Put it in me. Chandler's my youngest. Loves it. 
Huh. Well, why would you want a kids to hit you, mate? You need fucking help. That's what you need. So leave, mate. Anyway, go. It goes on from there. You, you, you the need help, bro. You need help. Yeah. I, uh... You're fucked up. I created this for children. Children, understand? Then you, then you need help. Viagra was originally invented to treat hypertension. <sighs> Look how that turned. You're completely disgusting, you know that? Hey, buddy, you're the one with the sex toilet. Get off my property! <laughs> Literally. Hey, you know what? I watched my grandmother at the end. It's awful what people have to deal with. Insurance companies, my scumbag cousin stealing her savings and her pain meds. wonder what the hell happens to her. So to Kim in the future. Howard. They seem pretty the close. He wants. Yeah, okay, I'll see if I can um, track Jimmy down. I'll call you back. Sure. Oh, it's about his brother in it, been arrested or something. Shocking! <laughs> Hey, can you talk to me? Oh, no electricity, you understand? No, it needs to be on. I'm hey, getting you security. Lot, no, how wait, do you wait, not wait, know what's going on? I don't understand. Wait, wait, wait. Not a situation, it's a condition. Electromagnetic hypersensitivity. For reasons what? unknown, my nervous system has become sensitized to certain frequencies of electromagnetic radiation. You think I'm crazy? I never said that. No, you didn't, because you're very polite. What is it? Is he just a, he's not just imagining this, is he? That was Coleman lanterns indoors, a camp stove. He could burn his house down. Ignoring this won't make it go away. So he's so I what is it some sort of mental illness that he's What would you do? He thinks he has this problem. Jimmy. Oh my go away. I thought I'd wait till you got here. I was on the fence till you showed up, but thanks for helping me decide. Wait bye bye to your cash cow, because it's leaving the pasture. I'm committing him. Wow. Wait, Jimmy, wait. This guy doesn't seem very genuine though, does he? Let's be real. Wait a second. Single breasted, light blue or cream. Wow, this is really interesting. This is like shaping who Saul is as a lawyer. Why is there a montage of the elderly eating yogurts? And jelly, I'm I'm confused. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> oh mate, what a way to advertise. Oh god. Alright over there. Very good, play fair. Oh, no betting. He's really trying new stuff, isn't he? Mike just <laughs> in his hey, in his little booth hey, drinking his coffee. I love how ever since Mike Fuck you, threw him on the floor. He's been so... His attitude's changed completely. Oh man, I've missed Mike so much. I, I love him. Curious as to why he's doing this though. Does he know Gus at this point? Like, I'm, I'm confused. I'm trying to think, he quit a, He quit as a police officer, I know that, but did they mention anything of how long, how long ago that was in Breaking Bad? I'm pretty sure they didn't, I'm trying to think. This is why Mike always looks so tired. Look, he's there all night. Is that his daughter? Maybe. It is, isn't it? Because he spends time with his granddaughter and he loves her. They must... This, you must see the the building of their relationship in this. Again, I don't know what the hell's happened prior to this, though. Why does she not like her dad? I'm assuming that's his daughter anyway. It makes sense. I'm down to see more, more Mike. Learn more about Mike. Yeah, this is interesting. It's got a base right next to the door for a reason as well. That dude, that dude's a pretty good actor. I've seen him in loads of things. You're a long way from home, aren't you? You and me both. I oh, don't end. Oh man, you bastards! You bastards! I was really getting into that. I'm assuming that's his friend, like an old friend from the force or something. That's weird. We got, we got just like ten minutes of of Mike at the end there. So that was Better Call Saul season one episode five. Another interesting episode. So it turns out that Chuck is this is something that's in his head. The reason I was confused is because he had a there was an actual word for it. It was some long ass word. So I was asking if that's an actual like condition, but the doctor was like certain from the get go. It was it wasn't like it was it was in his head. So. I don't know. I don't know what the deal of that is. I had never heard of it before in my life, so that's why I was so confused from from the start of starting this show. 
but it does make sense because I did remember one thing that Saul said about the uh, the blanket that I mentioned, that foil blanket or whatever it is. He said it's not going to help. Um, like this, there's small things that I think you'll notice if you watch it back, if you watch the first five episodes back, you will see that Saul doesn't actually believe that it's a condition. It's just in his head. We saw Saul just trying out different different things in this episode in terms of like being a lawyer uh, now he's gone to elderly law which he's not obviously we know he's not going to stay with but he's just trying different things i said it, it you can see this is like shaping him to be the lawyer he is in breaking bad and it's interesting because he's gonna go for all these different things um go for all these different clients or try and go for these different clients and it's gonna be interesting to see him lead up to being Saul. that's gonna be that's going to be really cool, what what drives him to go down that route. As I mentioned, we got like the last five minutes, last five, ten minutes of this episode was Mike, dedicated to Mike. That was so random, but I, I think it's going to be set up for next episode. I think next episode might be heavily based on Mike. Uh, but it was just random. Like We didn't see Mike for the whole episode. Then the last ten minutes is based around him. I'm assuming that was his daughter, because we've never actually seen any of his family before, ever. I don't think he's even mentioned him. I think the, literally the only thing we know about him is his granddaughter, and that is it. Don't know why his daughter was distant with him, what what's happened there. We don't know why the police have shown up at the door, and why, like, an old friend of his, or what seems to be an old friend uh, from the force, why they've showed up at his house. Uh, what's the deal with that? If he's... Like, I, I don't know. Where, in terms of the timeline, I don't know how long... In Breaking Bad, how long Mike has been out of the force for like i don't think they mentioned it i was trying to think if they mentioned it or not if they have mentioned it then leave, then leave it in the comments obviously if they haven't and we're meant to find out then don't mention it but does he know gus at this point like i, I don't i don't know any, anything about that i think that's literally all what is going to be explored in, in better call Saul, which is going to be really interesting if that's the case i'm glad we're getting a lot of focus about mike um as you know mike was one of my favorite characters in breaking bad and when he died i was fucking fuming and he's one of the characters we probably know least about when it comes to backstory and just about him, we know such like so little about him. So to um, I mean, in Breaking Bad, we only really got to know Mike properly. I'd say, like the end of season four, season five. That's where we started to see way more of him, obviously, because Gus wasn't around then, so he was more with Walt and, and Jesse and that. So I'm I'm interested. I'm all for seeing more of Mike. So yeah, that was better call Saul season one, episode five. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, cheers for watching.